Welcome to another edition of English Makes No Sense right here at the SL Rockfish YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. <gasps> today is a gloomy day where I live, but I have Halloween in the air and I know it's not quite October yet. I don't care. Coronavirus has made everybody kind of jumpy and we might not be able to go trick-or-treat, but we can bring the trick-or-treat into the office. So welcome! So glad you could join me. Today we're going to take a look at some mispronunciation of some words. I know! A mispronunciation in English? What? Yes! Okay, so I made a little YouTube video. No, sorry. A TikTok video. And 60 seconds is all they'll give you on TikTok. And it was about the pronunciation of... O-L-L. -L. You know the words. Put a roll. It looks like I'll, but if you put an R in front of it, it's roll. Put a P in front of it, it's pole. Put a T in front of it, it's toll. Put a D in front of it, it's dole. No, no, no. It's a dowel. And that's where that left it. But then I did a little more digging and I found some words. Okay, we already know toll. What about stroll? Long O. Troll. Funny little doll, long O. Scroll, you know, the verb, scroll through the computer, or a parchment, or that's the noun. Scroll. We've undid the scrolls. Then we have a knoll, that's a small rounded hill, okay, a, or a mound. And look at that, it's got a silent K. We'll talk about the silent K another day. Then we have the regular roll and pull. Always long O with an L, unless... It's doll, you know, a doll, like a Barbie doll, a rag doll, something like that. Or lol, you know, lol. I'm going to lol about to sit lazily. Got it? Now, let's talk about the most popular O-L-L -L word, and that is doll. You know doll. Dun, da, 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 a doll. If someone calls you a living doll, that means you're super nice and generous and kind aim to be a living doll. Here are some sayings with doll in them. You could be all dolled up, means you're well-dressed, well-groomed. You could be acting like a rag doll, helplessly moving and flopping. Ooh, move like a rag doll. A Barbie doll, a happy, giddy, pretty woman. A Cupid doll, a doll with big eyes, big red rosy cheeks, you know, from the carnival days, way back in the day, even before I was around. Okay, that's doll. There's not a lot that goes on with Dao, but there's a lot that goes on with the word bum ba 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 roll. Are you ready? I feel like I should do that. Here are the words, sayings with the word roll. It doesn't even look like roll. Roll would be pronounced R or spelled R O L E, long O. But it really is roll. And the word roll is in a lot, a lot of sayings. I cut them down to a few. We have roll with it. That means to keep going. You're on a roll. Things are going great for you. Roll back. Turn back. Return to former days or in prices. We're going to roll back the price to 1995. So that's in rolling back the prices. We have roll over or reinvest. That means to roll over or reinvest or to let someone push you around. Don't let them roll over you. You know, push you around, just keep going. We have rock and roll, classic mu music style, one of my favorites. Great saying, let's rock and roll. That means let's get going. Come on, let's rock and roll. We could take a roll call, reading of a list of names to see who's present. Roll call, Smith, Jane, here. Okay, then we have roll out. That's to introduce a new product or idea. They're not really like roll, roll, rolling it. It's just to roll out. We have roll out the red carpet, create or provide an amazing, elegant experience. Roll in the hay, <laughs> that's another way of saying, you know, getting lucky, having sex, sorry. That is, roll out the welcome mat to show someone friendliness and hospitality. I always aim to roll out the welcome mat when people come over. We have roll off the tongue, how quickly or awkwardly a word or phrase can be spoken. Roll up the sidewalks. When someone says, phew, that town rolls up the sidewalks, that means there's no nightlife going on. Things die down early. Roll with the punches. Phew, no. Roll with the punches means to adjust to difficulties life throws at you. We should all learn to roll with the punches. If 2020's taught us anything, it's how to roll with the punches. 
then you could be rolling in the aisles. I like to go to see a comic who makes me go rolling in the aisles. Laughing a lot, causing you to make people laugh uproariously. That's a great word too, uproariously. So rolling in the aisles. The comic had them rolling in the aisles. They were laughing so hard they fell out of their seats. Now we have roll up your sleeves. That means to work hard, you know. Well, son, we're going to roll up our sleeves. We're going to work hard. What if it's cold out? Roll the dice. Take a chance. Gamble. I like to gamble, but I hate to lose. Rolling over in one's grave. Hmm, your father's going to be so disappointed he's rolling over in his grave. That means you've done something so bad that's going to cause the person who's deceased before you to be so upset that they get up out of their grave and roll over. Very upsetting. Then we have heads will roll. That's referring to severe punishment. Like, you know, the guillotine. Cut off the heads. The head rolls. Not a good visual. Okay, that was roll. You can roll with the punches. You can roll with the... You can roll the dice. You can roll up your sleeves. And that's what I'm going to do. Roll up my sleeves and get to the word pole. Are you ready? The many uses of the word pole. Looks like pow, but it's pole. We have... Straw poll, it's election season where I live. God help us all. Straw poll, an unofficial opinion poll. Public opinion poll, a random sample of people asking their opinions. A poll tax, never pay a poll tax. A poll tax is a tax or fee required to vote. It's illegal. Poll a jury, ask the jury to say how they, would, how they voted, how they decided the verdict, yay or nay, guilty or not guilty. Then we have now, here's the two different ways poll is used. We have poll the noun. There's two amazing ones here. Top, back of the head. My poll. Or broad or flat end of a hammer or striking tool. I did not know that. I didn't know these two definitions at all. That's why I put IDK. Now, poll can also be a place where people go to cast their vote. I'm going to go to the polls on election day because I like to make sure and I'm there at the poll. It's kind of like Christmas for me. I like to do it. Poll, the total votes recorded. Poll, a record of collected information. So we took a poll and now we have the results of the poll. The poll is finished. Whoa. So we polled somebody to make a poll. Ooh, that's a lot of polls. Or a survey. Here I'm going to blow your mind. You can take a poll, go to the polls, listen to the polls, and mind the polls. What? Yeah, you can do all that. And if that wasn't enough, here's pull the verb. Are you ready? Hold on. We're on a roll. And now we're going to go take a poll. Pull the verb to take a survey, to administer a survey or questionnaire. Now, I promise you this will be painless. So come on, I'll show you. Now you are ready to read and understand this set of sentences. The poll polled too many people from one side of the political aisle. The poll makers and those who administer the polls are known as pollsters. They administer or conduct the polls. However, poll workers work at the polls where the votes are cast. What? Come on, English. Yep. Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you soon. Go to the polls on election day. Have a great day. See ya.